Hello, uh, today I'm going to be talking about how to set up the Ichimoku indicators in Thinkorswim. This is going to be the first of a couple of series of videos that we're going to put out uh, from EII Capital in regards to Ichimoku. Um, okay, uh, before we begin, of course, there's the normal disclaimer. Uh, everyone could read this and pretty much know what the disclaimer is. Uh, there's my contact information uh, if you need any information from me. So let's go straight into Thinkorswim. Okay, what I've done is I've gone in and pretty much have set up a basic chart. So this is a basic chart that you see, a toss chart. We're going to be dealing solely with toss charts, not profit charts today. Okay, uh, reason why is the toss charts allow you to pretty much set up any type of charting that you need, uh, wherever you want one instrument, two instruments, three instruments, or what whatever may be the case. Okay, this is normally what your screen should see. Uh, if you're pretty much going through, you go to charts and cl click on charts. Uh, I'm putting in Apple here for now, uh, just to go for example. Um, but you could pretty much choose any uh, instrument out there. Right now we set the default to, da uh, to daily. So now we're going to go ahead and go in and add the Ichimoku indicator. So if you click on studies over here, click on add studies. Uh, I like to just go to and just find I. Okay, so if you come in here and you'll see Ichimoku in there just go ahead and click on it and then it's going to set up everything for you okay now first things first let's just go and make sure the default settings for Ichimoku are set up reason why is everyone has a tendency of changing these parameters so uh, we want to make sure that the default settings are all set up and are all correct and also then we could go through and choose a color coding that we like okay Tinkinson period is 9 and Cajunson is 26 that's pretty much the default values so that's perfect. Um, the color preferences I like, I'm going to go through and set them up. The Tinkinson I like to be red. The Cajun seems to be green. Seneca A is white. Seneca B is purple. Um, I typically like this to kind of be yellow here. And then Chacal will be purple. Okay. So click on Apply. If you click on OK, you pretty much can see everything in, is set up there now. Okay. Now, notice if we zoom in, you got the bullish would be kind of like this little yellow, dark yellow type of color. Bearish clouds are basically red. Okay, so everything's set up here now for the Ichimoku indicator. A couple of things just to make sure that you do have settings correctly. If your chart doesn't look like this, especially if you don't get the future cloud, click on style, go to settings. Okay, then it goes scale and access. And over here, if you're not getting the future Kumo cloud, you need to set the expansion to 27. At 27, let me set it to zero, and you can see what happens. See, if you, you don't get the future cloud at all. So you have to set the expansion to 27. Once you do that, you will get the Kumo future cloud. Okay. Some of my settings that I'm just going to go through, and you could kind of see. Uh, you could do overlap of volume if you want. If you do, it looks like this. Uh, some people prefer at the bottom. Some people like the overlap. Uh, right now, I'm just going to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, here, you could change to Eastern Standard Time or whatever time frame you're on. Scale, uh, everything here you could see. Uh, if you want to see expiration Fridays, you could click on that. Uh, and all kinds of rollovers for contracts for futures. If you want to see options, corporate actions, all that stuff you could kind of see in here. Okay. Uh, appearance, I'll go through here. You could kind of see what my. Uh, bars are set up for equities you notice that in the background you see earnings since this is a still since this is a stock if you want to get rid of corporate actions to get rid of earnings you just click on that uh, I like to keep it on uh, just in case if I'm dealing with stocks I see it if you're dealing with futures and so forth you're not going to get them at all if you want to so show options you can if you click on that it kind of really gets the chart really weird and expanded. I don't typically like to see that at all right now. Um, options and then you could go futures. You could see open interest. You could see Forex here. You could see bid. Uh, prices based on bid, ask, mark, or last. So you got an option pretty much for think or swim to choose whatever option you want. Uh, I pretty much try to keep everything as default as possible and make my charts look clean as possible. Um, so you could kind of go in and you could see everything that's set up here. Uh, and I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to just go back in here. This is daily. And then chart type, you could choose 
bar, candles, if you choose candlesticks, that's there. Okay. And then you could go in and you could choose whatever time frame you want. Now, one thing I want to quickly go through, a lot of people think that these are the only times here that are available. They're not. If you actually go into the style, inner day, okay, and you come in here, you can see all the different time frames here, okay. So you do have a lot of options there uh, to pretty much go in and see all the different time frames that you're looking for. There, pretty much you can find them. Um, so I think that's it. Uh, one last thing: once you have set up everything, make sure you save everything, okay. One way you could do it is go in and say save style. And you could say Ichimoku, uh, if I can spell today, standard. Now, when you do that, make sure you click on include study set and click OK. That will save that style. So now you could just pretty much, whenever you load another blank child, uh, chart, you could go in and you could go in and just say load style. OK. Now, we've done one chart here you have the ability to sit there and set up four or five different graphs so if you come in here you could see that you could set up all these here okay so I'm just gonna type in Euro USD here okay now if you come into this option look at load and then I could I didn't save mine but I could just click on Ichimoku normal and it will automatically pull up my t uh, style that I have saved so you could go in you could save all that now if you wanna save this entire grid the way it is if you just come over here and what you do is save as and you can save this grid so what this will do is it'll save all these different charts the way you've set them up it'll save that layout okay so again if you want to save the indicators and everything you have on there you save that as a style if you want to save this grid format you click over here and save click on save grid as okay there's a lot of different things in thinkorswim but we're going to keep it simple uh, down to what we've shown you here uh, let me go back over here uh, here's my contact information if you have any questions or anything you can contact me via email or best is to actually go with to eiicapital.com and you'll see some tabs at the top we actually have a discussion form it's a free discussion form uh, where people could go in they could ask questions in regards to anything from brokerage uh, to set up indicators to Ichimoku and so forth have a good day